Hello, this is our friend Jody, and uh, Jody had told me she had uh, cancer, and she's been monitoring her blood test and her numbers. She started taking over last year about two weeks ago. And Jody, just share everybody your experience about the C-reactive protein. Okay, I had my last C-reactive protein test on December 4th, 2019, this past December. And I've, I've been told by Paul about Velasta and he shared with me the video and I watched it and I've been really, I'm a very critical person and I like to do research. But he finally convinced me to start taking it. And like he said, I started taking it about 10 days ago and I had my blood drawn yesterday and my C protein, rea reactive protein test came back at 0 0.25 and I, I was astounded. So I asked the nurse to tell me the number again just because I wasn't sure I heard it right. And, he, and she said 0 0.25. It, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm, what I'm, was it in December? In December it was 32.92. 32.92 on December 4th, and right now it's 0 0.25. I bow down to Velasta, I do. It's like, oh my gosh, in 10 days? Are you, you're kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing stuff, amazing. Me, I tell everybody, the blood is a great messenger of the body when you know how to read it and understand it. And everything you're talking about now could be measured uh, by a common blood test uh, that many people doctors don't look at and it's something uh, i've been fortunate enough when my doctors looked at it and on the, to a degree understood it but uh, tell them what that is yeah it's called c-reactive protein and for years um rheumatologists run it all the time because it's a measure of internal inflammation but regular doctors don't stop running it as part of the regular blood panel because they don't know what to do with the result when they get it, it it's a predictor of disease Doctors treat symptoms. So you go in, you have cancer, they'll treat you for cancer. You go in and have heart disease, they'll treat you for heart disease. All of them come, are produced by ROS, reactive oxygen species. So we're, we're one level below what the doctors treat for. And the measure of that is the C-reactive protein. That number should be less than one and everyone should go run it. So today we're gonna to talk about the treatments that we did for Jamie during her cancer treatments. All right, astaxanthin. This was the second thing that uh, we really thought worked. And we, try, we started trying this very early October. Um, she was going in to get a feeding tube and um, installed, surgically installed. And so uh, this, I believe, was working. Um, there were a couple things that I won't, I won't go into all that. I just tell you, it, here's the deal. If I had, if I was diagnosed with cancer tomorrow, the three things I'd be doing was vitamin C IV. I would be doing medicinal mushrooms, beta glucans to increase my white blood, white blood cell count, and I would be doing the astaxanthin. We bought the astaxanthin from a company called Valasta, V-A-L-S-T-A. I, I really think this stuff worked. And you know, I'll give you an example. She had a biopsy done on a new tumor that was coming in on her neck, and. Uh, she had that biopsy done when she had the feeding tube inserted and by the time about three weeks before she passed I saw that tumor it, it had crusted over um, where they did the biopsy and and scabbed over and then fell off it was gone and so I really truly believe the astaxanthin was working and had we had more time and had we started that earlier I think we would have had a different result I think I think I really think Jamie would be here today um, so, uh, also, uh, amazingly, I, I've, I have, I've had, usually sometimes I've had acne in my small of my back and I started taking this um, when she was taking it because uh, I'd heard about all the benefits from it. My acne is gone. Uh, Tim had psoriasis, psoriasis. Tim has had psoriasis for years and, you know, he had to go get a psoriasis cream and all this stuff and sometimes it would be really bad, especially in the summer, it would get really bad, itchy and burning. Um, it's gone. He's been taking this now for you know a, a few months and it's completely gone. He went into the doctor the other day and they were like, do you want any more psoriasis cream? And he's like, nope, I threw the bottle away. And the doctor was like, what? <laughs> you know, he's like, it's gone, it's cured, I'm cured. And the doctor didn't believe him. He's like, he told, he told him what he was doing. But uh, lots of amazing stuff about this astaxanthin. And um, if you have an autoimmune is issue, an autoimmune disorder, this is your guy. You want astaxanthin. So it's expensive, but you know, if I had cancer, that's, that's what I'd be doing. I'd recommend it to anybody. 
And as you're taking it, do you feel different at all? I have so much energy, much okay. more than I did. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm healing from radiation, which I'm trying to get away from them. And this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. So besides the numbers coming down, since you started taking it, you know, you have a little bit more energy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Astounding amounts of energy. A lot more than other people think I should have. My One. neighbor, Eleanor, she's just amazed at what I've accomplished getting ready to move my home. So yeah, and yeah, it's awesome. Thank really you. awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. You're okay. welcome. You can get this at my website now, rawlife.com, rawlife.com. That's where you can get this product. And if you are a member of the Raw Life Health Show, you get 10% off with the coupon code. So consider that. And I'm going to get more in, but get these as soon as possible. Start taking them. As you can see, I take it and I love it. And, uh, and uh, let me know about your testimonies once you start taking them. Thank you.